Hi, it's Alex from Wantacall here with another Tech Bytes. In this video, we're talking about the new 3CX version 18. The 3CX business communications platform is currently on release 16, which has been around with updates since March 2019. A lot has happened since then, so it's no surprise that the 3CX team have been busy readying the next release, version 18, since late 2020. But don't worry, if you haven't missed anything, there was no version 17. So we thought this was as good a time as any to take a look at the version 18 highlights so far. In this video, we're going to take a look at the 3CX management console. Before we jump into this video, I'd like to introduce you to Want to Call. We make 3CX easy for those that don't want to do all the fiddly bits themselves with a fully hosted, fully managed service. If you prefer to manage 3CX yourself, but with quick, expert support on hand when you need it, we can do that too. And we can seamlessly integrate your 3CX with Microsoft Teams for a flexible, resilient, and cost saving hybrid solution. Follow this link, which is in the description, for more details. And now, back to the video. Here is the new version 18 management console interface. And now, here it is alongside version 16. There's nothing radical here, but straight away you can see fewer options down the left. That's because the focus of this update seems to be on tidying up that left-hand menu bar and the settings screen, both of which were starting to get cluttered. So let's jump in and take a more detailed look. Starting at the top, Phones and extensions is now users and phones. Not a huge change, but reflective of the fact that with live chat and video conferencing, 3CX is no longer just about phone calls. One other change here is that groups has moved inside users. Since groups are made up of users, this makes perfect sense. There are no changes to SIP trunks, inbound rules and outbound rules. But you can see that from version 18 onwards, messaging will be out of beta. This area brings together the Facebook Messenger and SMS integrations and the 3CX live chat functions, all of which are fantastic features if you've not tried them out yet. Messaging will now have a settings option, which currently just allows you to set the auto close time for active chats, but I'm sure this will expand as more features are added. Next, let's look at reporting, which is now a concertina. You can see here on this standard version of 3CX version 18, it just contains call logs and CRD. But I suspect on a pro license, call reporting and maybe call recording will be in this section too. Security is not a new concertina, but does have a new icon and contains more options. Options like anti-hacking and secure SIP used to be tabs across the top, which you accessed via security and then security options. Having them here on the secondary menu is a much tidier layout. IP blacklist remains where it was, and they've also brought in blacklisted numbers, which moves from the settings section, making it much easier to find. The advanced concertina remains, but is now thankfully in alphabetical order. It's lost some items to the other menus and gained fax server, which used to be in settings. Finally, let's look at settings. 3CX admins will be used to settings blindness, whereby you can't find the option you need even though you know it's in there. That's been cured on version 18 by moving items to more logical positions on the left hand side and adding category headers. A small act that will make a big difference. And that seems to be it for the visual redesign of the 3CX management console. Nothing radical, just a few simple changes that will make the admin's life easier. The web client redesign, however, is much more radical, and we're going to take a look at that in the next video. I hope you found the information in this video useful. If you did, please hit the like button. Also, subscribe and hit the bell icon so you get notified when our next video goes live. See you next time.